grass. But let me just crack this song bitch open right here. There we go. It's a VA juice drink, drink of the day. Beautiful sunny day. Let's check out some trucks. Back there I just saw a single cab and it was crazy because they camo painted it. I don't know, it definitely wasn't a wrap. I think they painted Oh my gosh! Look at that! McLaren! We're following them now. Holy cow. Nice man. Told you it was a good day to drive. No limits. first got a nice work truck right here gosh the front of these trucks are huge holy cow look how big that emblem is and I know if I were to upgrade I were to buy a work truck version now I couldn't make a decision on either brand but looks like it's open so I'm gonna get on in here in a second but yeah I got a nice weather tech box it's got a bed line on it got a spray and bed liner look at that df oh this is a gas this isn't even a six seven power stroke it's still a nice truck though hop on in here so I noticed out of all three brands, and wow, it smells really good in here. I noticed out of all three brands, this truck goes the slowest. Well, at least maximum speed on the speedometer is 100. I know it's 120 and 140 for the Chevy and Ram, so I know that's a little bit different. I don't know why they wouldn't give us a little bit more speedometer there. But man, that is an overwhelming interior smell, I must say. And look at that. Got auxiliary on a work truck. That'd be perfect to have. And again, I'm not sure how you'd wire that, though. You have to wire it all the way up. Up through, that'd be pretty far up there, but still, damn, this is a nice truck you got here. Steering wheel is huge, that's what I'm noticing. They have the biggest steering wheel out of all three trucks. Everything is, is I don't know, it's pretty spacious in here. I love the vinyl flooring. Very easy to clean and durable. Got a nice slide up seat with a headrest on it, and that's one of the things I like about the Ford and Chevys is that the headrests aren't just complete angled i know it's good for accidents and stuff and that's why ram does that but it's not my favorite either way i'd rather just not have it because i don't know the angle of it is just it's kind of off but man i just love the interior in here and let's see what we got in here do we have the port i'm not seeing the port where is the port oh it's down here got the usb port down here so I'm wondering if all work trucks have the port, because i that's what I want to have in one of these trucks is a USB port. But other than that, that's all I'm really looking for, obviously, four-wheel drive. But that's pretty standard for me, so this is nice. Other tech floor liner. Looks like we just got the standard key entry, not push to start. And I think the visibility in these trucks is actually pretty good. I, I feel as if I can see a lot more than my Silverado and my Ram in sitting in one of these trucks, but it may just be me. It may just be this 
window coming down. I mean, this is a giant window. This window may actually even be bigger than the ones on the Ram, if you look at that. And the windshield, just a lot of visibility in this truck. I do like that a lot. Obviously, if we were to upgrade, we'd upgrade to a Power Stroke, I know, and I understand this is the gas. Nothing wrong with the gas, but I do want a diesel. I do love the power and performance of a diesel, so that's what I'd go for. But this is actually a very nice truck. I love it in here a lot. <laughs> And you've practiced how to speak if a cop does pull you. Sounds all right, but the radio quality honestly sucks in this truck. I'm honestly all the all the stations that are clear for basically any vehicle, even old ones, it's kind of coming in blurry for this. I don't understand. Oh yeah, sounds good. Whoa, hey. <laughs> Such a comfortable interior, man. Gotta love this Ford. Holy cow, look at that leg room for the back seats. You don't even have any indent down here. It's just all flat. Perfect. Honestly, that's amazing because the person sitting in the middle doesn't have to get dirt everywhere on that carpet that's usually in the middle. This is amazing. I love this truck. Oh, and look at these handles. I love that. I actually do like that a lot. Hop out of here. So that's the Ford. And man, even when the door closes, that sounds amazing. But gotta love it. Solid axle in the back. And then in the front, solid axle. Solid axle. Gotta love it. Man, these are nice trucks, bro. Here we go. Just found a power stroke. Let's see if we can open the. And there is the forward power stroke. It's still going up, I guess. Got an LED light in this one. Look at that. It's just a standard in the Ram, but this is. Oh, you got a lot. You got a lot to deal with in one of these. I don't even know, man. I don't even know where to start with anything with this truck. I mean, there's just so much going on in the middle here. I know I heard on forums that you don't have to pull the cab down, but it makes it much easier to do anything in these Fords. It's just so, so jam-packed in here. I wouldn't be able to do anything. This is crazy. Gee, man, I know I watched a video before of guys doing the power stroke. Uh, doing a power turbo swap, but this is crazy, man. All right, I guess we'll close her up. There we go, I had to relatch it, but there we go, man. These trucks are sick. The height. Here's the difference between the Ford Gas. A lot more engine space. A lot more room to work on it. Look at that. Could add so much. Nothing wrong with a 6.2, man. These are nice trucks, too. You know what, I think I'm going to save the test drive until I'm actually, well, until I'm more serious about this. Because, well, realistically, I don't even have a camera to mount, so I wouldn't really be able to bring you guys along. So once I get another GoPro, I'll just strap it on my head or something and I'll take you guys along. So that, that probably makes more sense to do. Plus, we're kind of running out of time here. It's getting pretty late. I don't think they're going to really want to do anything now. It's so late and everything in the afternoon. So, yeah, I'm probably going to head out. I think if I were to upgrade, I would have to get something that was color matchable. So something Thing with black bumpers because I do love work truck interiors I like the simplicity about it and everything I don't want all the features and everything just more stuff to break so I'd, I'd want something with black bumpers because then I could always color match or buy some that's already color match which then you know the price goes way up Instead of a new truck, I just buy a lifetime supply of smoke and barbecue ribs. So it sure is a tough one, and there's really no way to make a decision on this. I have no idea what to do. If I were to upgrade, I'm not even sure if I'm ready to do that. 
I'm just thinking about it and if I were to get a new truck it would obviously be a diesel I want the power I want the axles I want to be able to have the right gear ratio and everything for bigger tires and of course I don't want to not make the upgrade and get bigger tires and then make the upgrade that kind of makes no sense because I'm just dumping money for no reason in aftermarket stuff when it sells more stock so yeah we're, we're close to stock here not necessarily you don't have an exhaust it's tuned all the emission stuff is gone but of course I couldn't even make a decision between all three brands it would be have to be a group vote vote here on which brand I should go with guys I'm not really sure I love all the trucks okay so here's the here's the dilemma of what I've been thinking about all these trucks lately and really which one to go with and stuff so and when it comes to Ford I love the Ford I love the body style I know the engine transmission is strong obviously the new 6.7 is better than the 6.4 and 6.0 when it comes to reliability so you don't have to really worry about it the only thing is though is that they do not color match I never see the trucks color match obviously you can do stuff aftermarket I'm saying obviously a lot dang it you can get the black workshop bumpers and then you could just paint those afterwards I love the interior of the Ford I love the outside of the Ford I love how it's reliable that's what I'm really looking for I'm not necessarily going for huge power numbers up front I know they come with high power numbers stock so that's amazing but I would want to eventually color match down the road so I'd probably get the black workshop bumpers and just run that for a while so that's that's that on the new Ford I love the different styles that they do I love the black handles they come with the cab light and the tow mirror stock and all that kind of stuff so I do love that then we got the Chevy Duramax Chevy Duramax you usually find them chrome you can't get them with the black bumpers anymore I never at least I never see it I look through a lot of listings you never see it with the black bumpers anymore I guess it's all chrome they're like oh we're gonna help everyone else just give everyone chrome no I don't even want that so you can get it sometimes in a color match bumper I do see it a lot I do see them selling it in either white or black so I do love how they do that and I'm going back to my traditional roots because realistically I was a Chevy guy first my first truck is that Silverado that you see in my driveway that blue one that I drive all the time that has been my first truck for a long time I love the Chevy interior possibly my favorite interior by far on the inside and the outside I mean you can't go wrong with the new look I love the new look truck I've always loved it a long time but here's the thing you cannot get in black and I'm sure painting those bumpers, I even looked up prices of buying the bumper, just a, just a regular paintable one, it's just, it's so expensive, or just buying a white one that's already painted, I think it's like $1,500, $1,600, definitely not worth buying, so it's just so hard and hard to make a decision here. I would have to buy one that is white from factory and then you got a lot of the guys already doing lifted white ones we know we got a lot of youtubers that already do it and stuff but I, I, won't, I wouldn't consider myself copying but there's just a lot of work involved if I didn't buy one up if I didn't buy a white one up front and I'm not sure if I get a white one with the color match to, with the color match door handles there's just so much confusion with the with the Chevy that it would be hard to f nail nail a coffin without putting money into it when it comes to paint work and changing colors and stuff that, of that nature it would be really really difficult with a Chevy but I would have to find one already white from factory and then maybe change the door handles and stuff of that nature and take the chrome off because I know there's still chrome on it there would be a lot more work to do and it doesn't have a solid axle it comes down to Ram and Ram I'd say it's the easiest one to work on Cummins by far definitely the best engine but then not the strongest transmission and the transmission even I've, I've read online that they don't shift as smooth as the transmission the Chevy being the best having the Alice and then the Ford having a nice transmission in those trucks as well so it's it's just a tough decision I love the fourth gen body style obviously it's not as square as the Ford and Chevy I hope that they come out with something that does look amazing I do I, I mean I love the fourth gen body style don't get me wrong I still think it's really good and the fact that they're still running it today on the 2018 2019 it's perfect so it, it really it really is just it's it's hard it's a hard decision there's really nothing there's no, none of the trucks really stands out on something that's too hard to deal with they all look amazing to me I know they're all reliable now they all put out very comparable numbers of power it all really comes down to which one I want to go with they're all comparable prices too so if I came down to a Ford I'd buy the work truck bumpers if it came down to a Ram I'd buy the work truck bumpers and if it came to a Chevy I'd have to buy a white one with the color match front end and I'd be stuck dead center with a white truck I couldn't go with anything else because I'd want to eventually color match so yeah just about to wash up this truck let's do it how about I get you some revs of that six seven oh yeah clean 
Where's the whistle? Look at that.